give them the sustained energy of low GI white bread from Sasco. Every slice, so nice. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso on SABC3. Meal makeovers, and that's what we've been focusing on today. And again, I find myself in the kitchen with these delicious, delicious, delicious flavors. Kate George, how are you? I'm good, thanks, Alana. How are you? I'm very well. What are you making <laughs> for us today? Well, we're doing um, a real comfort food thing. We're going to do some mac and cheese, but we're giving it a little bit of a makeover. I love the makeover. I love the twist. So how do we start, and what do we do? Okay, so we're going to add... Um, we're making ours with some goat cheese, some roasted rosa tomatoes, yeah. and some chorizo. Mm -hmm. So what I've done is just sliced the chorizo and fried it off in a little bit of olive oil. So I've got a pot here with the, the, the oil from our fried chorizo, mm -hmm. and I'm going to use that to make the white sauce for the, for the macaroni. So oh, I've got wow. some butter. We're just going to melt it right. out here. We're going to put some Sasco flour in with our butter and our oil. And we're going to make something called a roux. So we're basically making the beginning of the white sauce. Okay. Melt this all together and toast it nicely. And I see you kept the sauce, and that's probably because it belongs to the same family, I guess. Yes. You're going to put it all together. Yeah. And what it means is it's just going to make give our white sauce this really rich, nice, smoky papri paprika and chorizo flavor. Well, I can smell it already. The uh, completed product looks amazing, and I'm sure it tastes really good too. I'll ask the rest to give us a taste shortly. Of course, we will also give you the link to the recipe so that you can recreate this at home. What happens next? Okay, do you want to give that a little stir? No and problem. Wh while, I'm, while you're doing that, I'm just going to add, I've got some chopped onion I've just, that I've just put in with our cooked pasta, um, some roasted rosa tomatoes, which we're just going to put in here as well. Um, and then we're just going to sprinkle some goat cheese over. This is, it, yeah. this, this is the herbed one, which is quite nice because it's got a bit of extra flavor. So we're just going to pop that on there. And then while... Let's get back to our white sauce. Yeah, because I see it's going to okay. boil now. Yeah. So while you're stirring, I'm going to slowly pour in the milk. As you'll see, as you add the milk, it just thickens up a little bit which is what it's supposed to do, so yeah. don't worry. <laughs> I'm not worried at all. When Kate George is in the kitchen, I'm okay. <laughs> okay, cool. So that's, and then we just slowly add our milk in, mix it together. We're using a wooden spoon. If it starts getting a bit lumpy, you can always use a whisk just to take Right, to any take care of it, out. okay. Um, yeah, we'll just finish this off. Okay, and then I've got a little bit of white sauce that I made a little earlier, and we're just gonna finish that off. Um, I'm gonna add some cheese to it. Lovely melted cheese. And you keep it grated? Yeah, just grated cheddar. Um, some mustard. Mustard and cheddar is like a match made in heaven. So whenever you add any cheese to anything, just a touch of mustard can just lift your dish completely. I so saw you even said it with a big smile yeah, on your face. I know, like I it, it's the two things that goes together for this makeover. I know, it's heaven. A little okay. bit of salt. A little bit of salt. And what we're going to do is just pour this over here. Do you, do you know the history about macaroni? No, I don't. So the story goes as this, that uh, Thomas Jefferson, he visited Paris in Italy and he liked the taste of macaroni so much that he had parmesan and macaroni imported. Oh, wow. And eventually he had it as a steak dinner. They used, they used a macaroni pie uh, for dinner and that's where it comes from. How fantastic. I had no idea. Oh, you're using Sasco bread. Yeah. So Tell what we're going to do is we're going to just, just to give it a little edge, we're going to make Give it a crunchy bread topping. It's so versatile here. Like yeah, you can use it for everything. I mean, beyond a sandwich, um, it's quite fun to do. For this, it's really nice because it adds a crunchy texture to the right. top. So all I've done is just broken up the bread yeah. into little chunks. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to it. You can add the olive oil if you want or not. Um, I like it with the olive oil. Yeah, and then we're just going to add a little bit Some of... Some more cheese. Oh, this yeah. is a cheesy dish. Well, while you're doing cheese. that, we can make this at home. All you need to do is to SMS the keyword SASCO to 33728 and we'll send you a link to the recipe and you can recreate this beautiful dish at home. I must say it's quite colourful, so this makeover is definitely one with a twist. Look at that. Yeah. There we go. Put it all together and then more cheese. We stick it on top. Yeah, we're going to pop some cheese on top. And how long do we leave it in the oven for? Um, just until it gets nice and golden. It'll probably take about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, because it's most of it's fairly cooked, right? Mm, absolutely, okay. it's just heating through. So that keyword again, it's Sasco to 33728. 33728 and you can recreate this at home and get a link to the recipe. Yes, I, added more, I added more, um, more cheese to your dish. There's nothing wrong wow. with and too much cheese. I've made you guys wow. some. 
Craig, you must cakes. be starving. <laughs> Huh? You can taste. You can taste. Macaroni cheese for breakfast. It's delicious. delicious. The best breakfast in the world of Looks champions. Mm. Is it good? delicious? Mm. Compliments to the chef. Lovely. Sorry, I didn't make it. I didn't make it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Thank really you very good. much. I've got you some cheese. Thank Leanne. you so much, my love. Always just taking care of me. There. Do I also get a taste? <laughs> yeah. Oh, get in there. It's not too much, though. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's really, really good. Thank you, Kate. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. Breakfast is served. Um. It's going to be crazy when the cameras go off, so we might not see you tomorrow. No, of course we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, we we love you, South Africa. What is this? Have a great day, guys. See you tomorrow. Same Bye. time, same place.